Ladies and gentlemen, this is Panna Cotta. Together with tiramisu, is the most popular Italian dessert. But this is also the easiest dessert. It's so popular in the restaurant, so instead of ordering this from the restaurant, you make it. Make it with me. Oh yes, let's do it. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make Italian food in your own kitchen. And today you're learning how to make panna cotta. Yes, the Italian way. Just with cream, no milk. No, 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 no. You do not use milk for panna cotta. It's cooked cream with the flavors that you love. Let's make it. We're making panna cotta for four people and these are the simple ingredients that we need. So we need 90 grams of white sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, 300 ml of cream, three gelatin leaves, which is about five grams of gelatin leaves. And then to make the sauce, you know, the beautiful sauce that we need for the panna cotta, we need 50 grams of white sugar and 250 grams of nice fresh strawberries. First thing we want to do is to get a gelatin leaves and the gelatin leaves needs to be placed for about five to seven minutes in water. Just get tap water, put it in there. We want the gelatin leaves to become soft, to become extremely soft. You know, they need to melt in the panna cotta, okay? So just put it in there and let's wait five to seven minutes. In the meantime, we're going to cook the panna cotta. Panna cotta means cooked cream. There's no milk involved. So what we do, we put the cream in the pan, in a little, in a little pot, you don't need a large pot, just a little one. We turn it on and we want to cook the panna cotta, but not boil. We do not want to boil it. What you want to do instead, you want to warm up the cream you want just to see the little bubbles on the edges, okay? When you see the bubbles on the edges, it means that the cream is ready, okay? So do not put the temperature too high. Make sure your temperature is medium low and do this with calm. You got five minutes to wait for the gelatin so you can dedicate five minutes to your cream. As the cream gets warmer, after about two minutes, I'm going to add the 90 gram of sugar, okay? So what's gonna happen now, the sugar is going to melt in the cream and it will taste nicer. Sugar is so important for your desserts. And just stir gently, okay? Just stir gently. Now the sugar is in there and we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. The vanilla extract can be replaced with almond extract, any extract that you like, any flavors that you like. You can put alcohol if you want. You can really play with this. You can give the flavor to your panna cotta right now with whatever you like. Just stir so the vanilla extract goes everywhere. The smell in your kitchen must be divine right now. You want to smell that vanilla extract right now yes okay now can you see those bubbles here on the side can you see those bubbles here that is a sign that your cream it is ready see those bubbles uh, bubbling we don't want this cream to boil don't forget we don't want this cream to boil we want the bubbles happening on the side and it is happening all those bubbles are here little bubbles so what we do now we switch off and we put the gelatin inside the gelatin by now will be ready. So as you can see, see how it changed? What we want to do is we want to squeeze the gelatin, all the water out, squeeze it, and then we put it in the cream. Just like that. Squeeze it out. Ready to go in the hot cream. So at the moment, the cream is nice and hot. So you want to make sure that you put the gelatin right now when it's nice and hot because the gelatin needs to melt. You don't, you don't want to eat the gelatin the way it is. You want the gelatin to disappear in the cream. The gelatin will help to make this, this dessert nice and dense. You can use gelatin in many other desserts, but it is important that the gelatin dissolves. You don't want to eat the 
piece of gelatin. That's not a, a good thing to do. As you can see, the gelatin melts very quickly. Within two minutes, in this hot water, your gelatin, it is melted. So just keep stirring, keep stirring, and then once the gelatin is completely, completely melted, dissolved, we are going to place it in glass. Okay, look, as you can see, I can, okay, I can't see any pieces of gelatin. I, can't, I don't see any lumps. You definitely don't want to see lumps in your cream, because if you see lumps in your cream, I would just recommend you to do it again from scratch. You do not want lumps. You, don't, you want this to be creamy. Now, panna cotta, it's ready. A panna cotta now needs to be transferred into a glass. You can use the cupcake mold if you want. You can use anything you like to shape your panna cotta. I just love to put my panna cotta in a glass because it looks elegant, it looks sexy, and it's much easier to serve. So now, you all you have to do is to put the panna cotta in the glass. Just don't put too much in the glass because the panna cotta is a nice, rich dessert. You don't want too much. Just put it in there. Beautiful. You just want to make sure you cover the panna cotta before you put it in the fridge because it needs to be sealed. We do not want the top part of the panna cotta to go dry. Cover the panna cotta. And now we're going to place a panna cotta in the fridge for a minimum of four hours. Yes, you do need time now to wait because the gelatin needs to make this dense, okay? I do like to make my panna cotta the day before. I think it's set better. You do need at least four hours to make sure the panna cotta sets. And also you want the gelatin to create this dense dessert for you, okay? You need time. This is a slow process, you know? In the meantime, we can make the strawberry sauce, the strawberry coolie for a panna cotta. Fridge! Now we're making a strawberry sauce for the panna cotta. But you can use blueberries, raspberries, any type of fruit that you want. You can use caramel. You can put chocolate, you can put Nutella. Honestly, anything you want to put as a sauce, go for it. I'm just showing you the simple way to do it. And again, you can be done with blueberries or raspberries if you follow this, this way. So we just cut the top part of the strawberries and we want to cut the strawberries into four. The reason why I cut into four, so it's going to be quicker to cook them, okay? We don't want to put the whole piece in there. Just cut into four. And then we're quickly going to cook them and it's gonna take no time, honestly, to make this sauce. So, so easy. Try to avoid to buy those sauce that you buy from the, from the shops, you know, they've got too much rubbish in there. They're not as good as the homemade. Yeah, okay, you can use jam on your panna cotta. It's just not the right thing that you want. Now, this is so easy to do. Just try and keep it fresh, keep it simple because you will never go wrong. Let's turn the cooktop on, on a medium heat, and let's put the strawberries inside. Beautiful strawberries. Oh, I love the smell of strawberries. Mm. In the comment below, you need to tell me what is your favorite sauce for the panna cotta. At this point, we're also going to add the sugar, 50 grams of sugar, and two tablespoons of water. What is the water going to do? The combination of water and sugar is going to help the strawberries to release the juice, which is what we want for this recipe. In about maximum, maximum, maximum five minutes, our strawberries will be so beautiful and soft, ready to be blended. There is not much to do, guys. So relaxing, so easy. And if you want, you can make extra sauce if you want. You can use it on your pancakes, you can use it on English muffins, on croissants, you can use it any way you want. See, a very simple hand blender will do the job. If you're using a stainless steel pan, you can put this straight in the pan. Um, I'm gonna do it in here, and I'll show you how beautiful it's gonna turn. Oh, look at that. Oh, who needs candles in the kitchen? Who needs candles in the house when you have the smell of strawberries? Real strawberries, huh? I love it. Sit down, they're very nice and soft. Very nice and soft, which means ready, we're ready to blend. Okay, so now we place the strawberry in the blender. 
Now let's quickly blend our strawberries. And here it is guys, the strawberry sauce is here for your panna cotta or for whatever you want to use it for. La 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 love you. Just before you put in the last drop, make sure you try it. Oh, divine. <laughs> Same process like the panna cotta. We put plastic wrap on top and we keep it in the fridge for the next four hours or until the panna cotta is ready. I really cannot wait to pour this sauce on the panna cotta and eat it. Yes, I want it right now. Guys, after a few hours, our panna cotta is ready. So what we do is we remove the plastic and we do the test. The test is this. And let's see if the panna cotta goes on the table. The panna cotta is not going anywhere. The panna cotta is perfect. It is important that your panna cotta is not running, otherwise it's not a panna cotta anymore. Here we have the strawberry cream. I'm gonna put the strawberry cream in the panna cotta, but don't put too much, okay? We just wanna be... We just want the strawberries to go on top to cover it, but not too much. See, that would be enough. The panna cotta is the king of this recipe, okay? And here we have the other one. Just wanna put the strawberry cool in there. Beautiful. Make sure it goes everywhere. Yeah, oh, it's very generous in this one. Oh my god, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. These are classy, just the way they are. But let's say I want to make it more fancy. What I can do, I can add some blueberries in there. Just to make it a little bit fancier. I've got some basil here, just because I don't have mint at home. Otherwise, I would say go for mint. Put a little bit of basil there, just give a little bit of green. And here we have the panna cotta that I want you to have. This is the panna cotta made in a glass, easy to serve, fancy to serve, and everybody's gonna love it. Surprise your guest or just your belly. This is the favorite time of the video. It's time to eat. Oh yes, this is beautiful, wonderful, sexy panna cotta. Yeah, let's see how it is. It's meant to be dense but creamy at the same time. See, yeah, it is. It's just what I want, see that? I've got a beautiful sauce. Look how deep it's dipping. Oh. And then I've got a beautiful cream, cooked cream there. Let's, let's have it. Mm. Perfect consistency. Perfect consistency, look at that. Perfect consistency, see that? This is what you want, my friend. This is what you want. This is the consistency that you want. Mmm. You don't want to put too much gelatin, otherwise it will become a rock. This is soft, but dense at the same time. This is dense and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. What are you waiting for? Go and buy the cream and make it because this is what you need for this evening, for dinner, after dinner, pre-dinner, anytime you want. It's panna cotta time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, please write a comment below. That's all I want from you. A like and a comment, please. Thank you so much. Enjoy the panna cotta with me. Mm. And honestly, use any topping that you want. Chocolate, no chocolate, raspberry, coffee, anything. But please do not pour milk. Thank you so much. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm.